Have you ever wondered why Paris is known as the city of love? Well, let's embark on a journey to unravel this enigma. Paris, the capital of France, has been the backdrop to countless love stories throughout history, both real and fictional. But what makes it the quintessential city of romance? One cannot talk about Paris without mentioning its breathtaking architecture. The Eiffel Tower, that iconic symbol of Paris, standing tall and proud, is a testament to the city's grandeur. A whispered proposal under its twinkling lights or a stolen kiss at its summit is a dream for many lovebirds. Then there's the Louvre, the world's largest art museum. With its vast collection of works including the enigmatic smile of Mona Lisa, it's a place where art and love intertwine. Love after all is a form of art, isn't it? But Paris is not just about the grand landmarks. Nestled in the charming neighborhood of Montmartre, there's a less known gem, the I Love You Wall. This monument to love features the phrase I love you in over 250 languages, a testament to the universal language of love that Paris so beautifully encapsulates. The city's history is steeped in romance too. From the tragic love story of Abelard and Heloise in the 12th century, to the passionate affair between Napoleon and Josephine, Paris has been the setting for some of the world's greatest love stories. Not to forget its portrayal in literature and film as a lover's paradise has only amplified its romantic reputation. Then there's Parisian culture, the sidewalk cafes, the Seine river cruises, the charming streets of Marais. They all contribute to an atmosphere that's conducive to romance. The city seems to encourage stolen glances, passionate embraces and whispered words of love. So, the city of Paris with its rich history and captivating charm, sets the stage for romance. But what's the secret ingredient that makes it the city of love? Paris doesn't just inspire love, it tells tales of it too. From the annals of history to the pages of literature, Paris has been painted with strokes of romance. Its cobbled streets, towering monuments and quiet cafes have witnessed countless love stories. Some of these tales are as legendary as the city itself. Take for instance the love story of Napoleon and Josephine. Theirs is a tale of power and passion, of a love that transcended societal norms and political challenges. Napoleon, the ambitious general, and Josephine, the widowed Viscountess, found solace in each other's arms amidst the tumult of the French Revolution. Their love letters, now preserved for posterity, speak volumes about their intense love affair that continues to captivate the imagination of romantics around the world. In contrast, the tragic tale of Abelard and Heloise is a poignant reminder of love's sacrifices. Abelard, a philosopher, and Heloise, a brilliant young student, shared a forbidden love that led to their separation. Yet, their passionate correspondence endured, echoing through the centuries as a testament to their undying love. And then there are the literary tales that have used Paris as a backdrop for romance. Victor Hugo's Les Miserables masterfully portrays the love between Cosette and Marius, their love story unfolding amidst the social upheaval of 19th century Paris. Hemingway's A Movable Feast captures the allure of Paris in the 20s, its bohemian spirit setting the stage for a whirlwind romance. Even today, modern love stories continue to unfold in the city's quaint alleys and along the banks of the Seine. Every stolen glance in a metro ride, every lingering kiss under the Eiffel Tower, and every proposal over a candlelit dinner at a chic Parisian bistro adds a new chapter to the city's grand narrative of love. These tales of passion and heartbreak set against the backdrop of this beautiful city further solidify Paris's reputation as the city of love. But it's not just the stories or the scenery that make Paris the city of love, it's the way of life. There's something about the Parisian lifestyle that seems to breathe romance into the city's very air. It's a rhythm, a pace, a way of living that encourages the cultivation of love and connection. Take for instance the city's cafe culture. Paris is dotted with quaint cafes each with its own charm and character. Here, time seems to slow down. People spend hours sipping their coffees engrossed in conversations or simply watching the world go by. There's no rush, no urgency. It's about being present, about savoring the moment. And in these moments connections are formed, relationships are built, love stories are written. Then there's the food and wine, the heart and soul of Parisian culture. Parisians don't just eat to live, they live to eat. Meals are often long leisurely affairs with multiple courses served over hours. It's not just about the food on the plate, it's about the experience of dining, the joy of sharing a meal. The clink of wine glasses, the exchange of laughter and stories, the intimacy of shared tastes and preferences, all of these weave together to create an atmosphere ripe for romance. And let's not forget the importance of wine. In Paris, wine is more than just a beverage, it's an art form, a conversation starter, a bond, 
wine tasting sessions, wine pairings, discussions about the nuances of different varieties, all of these are integral parts of the Parisian lifestyle that foster connections and build relationships. It's all these aspects and more that make Paris a city where love thrives, where each street corner, each cafe, each bottle of wine holds the potential for a new love story, a city where the lifestyle itself is steeped in romance. In Paris, love isn't just in the air, it's in the way of life. In the end, there's something indefinable that makes Paris the city of love. It's more than just the sum of its parts, more than its picturesque streets, the Seine winding its way under moonlit bridges, or the Eiffel Tower piercing the sky. It's an essence, an energy that seems to hum in the air, to touch everyone who walks its cobbled streets. The city's artistic legacy, the echoes of the lovers, poets, painters and dreamers who once called Paris home, it all contributes to this magical feeling. It's as if the very walls of the city are imbued with romance. You can feel it in the quiet corners of Montmartre, in the grandeur of the Louvre, in the delicate pastries of a local patisserie. This intangible magic is what draws hearts to Paris, what makes them fall in love not just with each other but with the city itself. Whether it's the stories, the scenery, the lifestyle or the magic, one thing is for sure. Paris truly is the city of love.